Yo, what's up everyone? It's Laidback Farco, and I'm here. And if you don't know about me, uh, I live in Japan, and it's my dream to be an animator. I'm an aspiring content creator. And today we're doing a vlog about um, something that, you know, I've been living in Japan for two years now. I'm starting my third year, and uh, something when I first got here, I was super interested by. Um, I was talking to my friend, and I was telling him, yeah, you know, I've been living here for a while, and some of the things I used to find so interesting aren't interesting because I live here anymore and uh, one of those things actually is a Genkan and you might be asking what is a Genkan and that's what I'm going to show you. The kanji for Genkan comes from Gen which means entrance, front door, entryway and Kan which means connection, barrier, gateway. So a Genkan is a mysterious barrier. So this is a Genkan and basically what a Genkan is is a place for you to change from your outdoor shoes to your indoor shoes. And uh, so here are my vans. <laughs> and it, seem, it might seem ridiculous to go from one pair of vans to another, but these vans I've actually I've never worn outside. But what a Genkan essentially is, is back when everyone had tatami mats in Japan, um, they're very fragile, so they didn't want you to ruin them. So you swapped from a pair of outdoor shoes to a pair of indoor shoes, and that tradition still continues to today. So essentially, that's all a Genkan is, and they have one in every school. A lot of businesses have them. Um, even for guests that don't work at the company, they'll have little slippers for you to put on. And um, it's, it's funny because a Genkan is like one of those things where it's, it's in the culture, but it affects the culture on more than one way. So usually when you see someone at the Genkan, it's your opportunity to say, Ohio gozaimasu. And uh, one interesting thing is like in America, when I was going to high school, almost everyone had a car. And just the weird way I am, I was, <laughs> I don't know if this is normal, but I was able to remember what car everyone drove. And just by looking at the parking lot, you'd be able to tell who was in school or, or not that day. And I think it's probably the same way with, um, you know, uh, Japanese schools or Japanese workplaces, you'll be able to tell who's in or out of work by just looking at the Genkan. But one interesting thing that kind of springs up from that, well, two interesting things is in schools, that's where like people live their, their love notes to each other, right? And all the, the romance anime, but um, young kids will actually have cute looking socks. <laughs> and it, it like, cute looking socks in every other country, like literally makes no sense because no one will ever see your socks. But if you're like, <laughs> if you're like a teenage girl and you're like, oh God, my, my crush is gonna see me. I better have these cute looking socks on. So that's like a, a thing that, that's happened in Japan as a result of that. And character socks for like little boys, right? They'll have a, um, cool anime characters on your socks. And it's like, no one would ever see that if you're in America, right? Unless they come over to your house. But in Japan, is just one of those things that has resulted as, in result of something like the Genkan. So that is the, the short Japanese culture and kanji lesson for today, Genkan. <laughs> and so that's the video for today, guys. It's nothing like too major, but uh, I'm trying out this new format. I'm always trying new things. Um, I was talking to a big YouTuber and if, if you want to be a YouTuber, you kind of have to make videos. And I'm kind of bad at that. So I'm trying to produce more stuff. But if you like what you see, like, rock, comment, share. So <laughs> this is a little embarrassing. That's my color. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Um, yeah. Um, so like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Um, I am making t-shirts. I have this Onigiri t-shirt I just made that I think is kind of cool. And I'm always trying to come up with new designs. Um, so if you want to support me that way, you can get a, a nice t-shirt. And uh, yeah, so th thanks so much. Laid up, work out.